Hello dear students, welcome to this small video presentation where I will be briefing you about how to register for TCS National Qualifier Test Recruitment Process 2020. So basically TCS will be conducting a test known as National Qualifier Test wherein all the students across India will be taking up the test for the recruitment process that they will be conducting. So this year also they have announced the test dates. The dates are in the month of October. Now in this video, I will be briefing you about what are the things that you should be aware while doing the registration process because this registration process is a bit lengthy process and you should be very very uh, I mean, uh, cautious in while doing the registration. Uh, now before applying, uh, I insist everyone should have a passport size photo in JPEG format and a nicely drafted resume with the name of the resume written as VDIT underscore your full name. For example, if I am going to apply, then my resume will be VDIT underscore Vikas Balikai, something like that. And then the uh, main thing that one should be aware is the percentage cutoff. It is 60 percentage if you are entering in percentage or 6 CGPA throughout the academics. And when I say throughout the academics, it also means 10th, 12th and engineering. Now I insist everyone to apply uh, all the their grades of their engineering in CGPA only and not in percentages because your grades are given in CGPA so stick on to the CGPA methodology and with respect to backlogs and arrears they strictly say that the applicant must not have more than one active backlog or arrear while filling up the application form but they also say on the other side when they are about to join the company if at all they are selected if at all any student is selected a student has to see that he or she must be clearing all their arrears and all their entire sub subjects while they join the company. And whenever you enter the CGPA in the application form, on the online application form, the correct way is to mention it at uh, with respect to two decimal point that is 8.00 if your CGPA is 8 and not as only 8. Now, even if you mention it as 8, the application form won't show any error but when the hall ticket process of uh, the process of hall ticket generation at that point of time those who have entered uh, a single number uh, for them the hall ticket won't be generated so see to that all the cgpas whether it is 10th 12th or your uh, engineering you see to that you are mentioning it up to two decimal point if it is 8.4768 you can mention 8.47 or 8.48 something like that but don't just mention it as a single digit because of this only last year uh, 15 students of VDIT were not able to get the hall ticket in spite of uh, filling up all the process uh, so I don't want you guys to repeat that uh, mistake or do that mistake once again now to begin with now here is the link that you are supposed to enter I'll be sending you a mail uh, wherein you can just make a note of this uh, entire link and copy paste that, that link in the Google Chrome and then open up the site and uh, you can fill up the details. I'll show you how to fill up these details uh, in a simplified manner. So here is my test link. I have copy pasted it here and if I just enter it. So, so if I just copy paste my link and if I enter this is the window that pops up now you can see over here the test dates are mentioned as 24 25 and 26th of October now the first step will be to click on the register now and see to that the registration closes on 17th October see to that you are registering within this time so click on this register now option it will ask for uh, your uh, uh, this particular window will open since I had already registered so that's the reason it is showing high because otherwise uh, for all the newcomers this new uh, window opens and you can just click on the create account so in the create account section it is going to ask you certain details try to fill up all the details I'm going to fill up the details so I'll be filling my details I am just mentioning all my details now to register uh, go to this link 
that is type this link on the browser in the browser and this and this uh, window pops up and then click on the register now uh, since i had i already had been over here so that's the reason it is showing high because we'll come back otherwise uh, for all the new user it is you are supposed to click on the create account now once you click on the create account it will open up this uh, window wherein you are supposed to enter all your details try to see that your email id whatever you are entering should be the one which you are presently using it so don't uh, come up with the uh, reason saying that i don't know i don't remember the password but i have entered one mail id please don't do that mistake uh, see to that you are entering a proper mail id for which you remember the password i enter the phone number and click on validate the number so you will receive an uh, an otp on your phone and uh, see to that you enter that particular otp so the otp what i have received let me check what click on validity and then this is not applicable for you then enter the captchas okay and then click on this i agree this term so there are three uh, privacy policy notices that come and for each thing you need to check the boxes that you agree and you have read all the conditions and say okay and then create an account now this will create an account <clears throat> see uh, enter below details to continue using your account so it has asked now then we need to select the state that is your Karnataka then continue so by my name the account has been created just wait for a few seconds it will immediately redirect you to the one more window you are not supposed to do anything the moment you enter the state it will redirect you to one more window then here some details which you already entered are can be seen over here some details which are to be are supposed to be entered will be asking it now since i am i am creating a dummy mail id so i am just trying to create example let this be my date of birth deciding state will be can just type it over here it will uh, option Karnataka will come over here deciding city depending on where you uh, reside that you can uh, select so for me it will be and then it will again ask to generate the OTP see to that you have entered the proper number mobile number See, these aspects are very very important one is the, your mail id the other is your uh, mobile number then click on generate otp then enter this captcha 6 6 i v p n submit it so again one more otp you would have received please enter that OTP here so that OTP now the second OTP that you are going to enter is a six digit OTP so let's see here. yes so I'll send I click on validate OTP it will pops up with a message saying OTP has been validated successfully say okay the next comes your education and qualification details then for engineering graduate it will be bachelor of engineering uh, for mass uh, m tech or me students it will be master of engineering so just you can click on bachelor of engineering it will come graduation branch now there are uh, branches that are available for its civil engineering it is civil electrical and electronics it is electrical mechanical engineering it is mechanical computer science and engineering it is computer science and then for electronics and communication engineering it will be electronics so then select the graduation month and year of passing now since all of you are going to graduate in the month the year 2021 
so let's try to put the month as june Oops. yeah june 2021 see to that you do this properly and sometimes it may happen that you while selecting you might have selected 2021 while doing something over here it may come down to 2020 and in that scenario you will, will not notice it and your application may be rejected see to that one whenever you feel all the details scroll up and see to that all the details you are entering are correct then there's an institute name now this is really very important don't uh, if you click over here it won't show any option so you need to search your institute now here when you are searching you are first supposed to mention the state where your institute belongs and by default i had entered the harvard in my residing location so that's the reason the harvard is taking but since my institute is located in the uttarakhand district and to re-enter uttarakhand district and then i'll just type here vishwanathra and if i just click it will show though the name of the college uh, it is considering as rural institute of technology but nevertheless you can just choose that i hope this step is clear i'll just repeat it here in the search bar you're supposed to enter the karnataka state and you're supposed to enter the city um, that is a district and then if you just type vishwanathra and you click on search it will show the options of your college so select that once i select that will be reflected over here <coughs> sorry now the next most important a mode of exam now i usually insist everyone to kindly take up or to select the in center examination because if you select online then that means you are uh, you are given the flexibility to take up the exam in your locality in your home only but in that scenario you are supposed to ensure just minimum 2 mbps internet connectivity the, the laptop or the system should have webcam and no to uh, taking that this particular test in the mobile please don't ask the question that can i take this text test in the mobile no absolutely it is not advisable because the system requirement says it should be having windows or ubuntu os so in order to avoid all these confusions uh, better it is uh, to opt for an in center wherein you will be visiting a center and uh, there all the uh, these things will be taken care and you need not to worry much about those things please avoid uh, uh, selecting this option online wherever you are you can select the nearest center that is uh, from your residing place so i will select the karnataka state and then city so there are Bagalkot, Ballari, Belagami, Bangalore, Damangiri, Hubli, Mangalore. So you can choose any of these uh, look at the city preferences for your test. So I'll be selecting Hubli. And then it is asking to upload the photograph. So click on the upload photograph. So just need to browse it. Now I, I like I already told you, see to that you have these things well with you. Uh, before you start application process and see to that all these applications uh, all these photographs are in the jpeg format <clears throat> so it is uh, uploaded and then i say close and then the fourth content this is very important subject in qt test see tcs and other it companies usually they mandate the programming skills as a part of their eligibility criteria uh, and since here also the national qualified test you cannot run away from the coding test and if you are saying no over here then that means you will not be considered for tcs in qt recruitment process and hence by default this will be on and this will be checked and you are supposed to uh, not to touch these options so it only means that you are okay with the programming test that the tcs is going to uh, conduct uh, during its recruitment process so just read this sentence uh, without this subject nqt programming score you will not be able to apply for jobs with tcs and other it companies do you want to apply for this exam also so it is already by default it is shown as s and this is being checked so don't check uh, uh, touch that see uh, if i uncheck this it will be no but don't do that then enter the captcha that is dead Okay. 
and then there's a declaration click on that and then say submit so wait for a few seconds now this is what it is going to show you yes now this is very very important this your application form in qt number now this you are supposed to save it somewhere so i'll just save it in the notepad see because this is the uh, main application number that you are supposed to enter in one more form which now will be redirected the moment you close this form so please ensure that you remember you take the screenshot or you just remember this entire thing and look what it is showing your application form has been submitted successfully you will receive your login credentials uh, for online or remote or, or uh, in center exam in the mail id you have given the registration form two days prior to the date of exam so before the exam two days before the exam you are going to receive the hall ticket now this is not the end i'll say close and then i'll come down over here just cross check all the details whatever you have entered are correct especially your mail id your phone number and your college and your uh, uh, the uh, degree and uh, the branch then everything is right then i'll say it as close so this is what the initial registrations that has been done now now we are going to move to the next step of this application process now this is what you have registered in the pcs ion website now you are supposed to move on to next step dot pcs dot com website now once you open up this website it will show you so this is what it will show you so come down over here and then again your uh, entire process will start once again now that was the registration what you have done in the uh, for the tcs nqt test now this is you are going to register yourself in the tcs company's website so click on register now now it will open up uh, one more window yes now this is the window which is, which is going to open up it is going to ask it uh, or bps that is information technology or business profile service now please see to that you are selecting it never ever try to select bps because this is a bpo or the call center profile which is for non technical closures uh, so please select it profile the moment you click on the it profile it will open up one more window now like i was telling this entire application process is in uh, i think almost 45 minutes to 50 minutes duration of time so please ensure that you are maintaining that patience while filling up this application form now it is going to ask again all your details now remember whatever the details right now you are filling will be going into tcs company's database and whatever the details you filled just before this will be stored in the <coughs> the uh, tcs nqt that is uh, uh, in the uh, I, TCS IONS website. So, because TCS ION is the company which is going to conduct the test, so in their database, whatever you have entered, that will be stored, that has been stored earlier. Now, here, whatever you are entering now will be getting stored in the TCS company's website. So, start with this title, Mr. or Miss, then again try to enter your details. So, try to fill in all the details once again. Slowly, you can just fill up all the details. This I entered as 1998. Yes. Then gender as. See, automatically it will come. The moment you are uh, clicked here, Mister, it will come as male. Then if you are if you are checking it as Miss, then definitely it will automatically come as female. So don't try to ignore this, Mister and Miss. And then mail ID. Please see to that you are entering the proper mail ID. And your mobile number. Don't fill the autofill things. Please try to enter the things as it is. Yeah. Now here the institute name. Since uh, see. Uh, this is where most of the students will have confusion. Now, if I click on, if I just click KLS, if I just type KLS, our institute name won't come. And if I, for example, 
this time Vishwanath again it won't come so basically in the TCS website or in the TCS database the VDIT's college name is not present hence even if I just type VDIT also it won't come so I request everyone to kindly write KLS VDIT so please try to write this entire name as your institute name and in fact you can avoid this you can just write KLS VDIT as your institute name now so we were here to enter the college or institute name so I try to enter here KLS VDIT because I don't find my institute name over here so rather than entering that Let's try to enter this entire complete name as KLS Vishwanath Rao Deshpande Rural Institute of Technology because remember in the previous uh, application this uh, the name of the college it has taken automatically as KLS Vishwanath Rao Deshpande Rural Institute of Technology and I request everyone to see to that the name of the college here and there remain same because I can mention here as KLS uh, Vishwanath Rao Deshpande Institute of Technology but in the previous application it has considered rural so let's go with that rural anyhow it won't affect much and see to that you are entering all in the caps uh, capital format the qualification then again it will be just search for bachelor of engineering it will be there year of passing it will be 2021 for all the friendly students now comes the main point nearest test location nearest test location I have taken as Hubli and enter that then you are supposed to create the password now as per the TCS password policy you can just click on that you can see that it should be 8 characters and it should have an uppercase and lowercase a number special character and it should not contain single quotes or double quotes just follow these guidelines and see to that you are creating the password I insist the password what you have created in the, uh, the earlier process if you can retain the same password if it adheres this TCS password policy that would be fine otherwise you can create one more password no issues so, so I am just creating my password so I just created and then there will be security question being asked right for that as well and then click on submit now it is I'm going to ask to confirm your mail ID and phone number again this is a really important step I, you see to that all the mail ID and the phone numbers whatever I'm mentioning is proper then once you say confirm now it is going to redirect you to one more window So once you confirm, it will redirect you to yes. Now again, it is going to show you one more uh, reference number, which ends, uh, which starts with DT. So please remember this as well. Try to save this as well. So earlier it was NQT. Now this is DC 2020, something like that. The moment you say continue one more application will going to open up now this is the password just now you have created enter that once you enter yes now here comes your main application form now till now whatever you have entered just think that they are, they are the uh, some uh, initial information that you have given now you can see there are four uh, portions here application form campus commune track my application how to apply you are just supposed to click on application form and uh, once you click it just wait for a few seconds it is going to open up a new window wherein you can see personal details academic and work experience details other details and then application form preview and then declaration so start filling the application click on that so some details are already being filled it is going to ask the father's name you can fill that And then the home 
this. Fill all those details. details. details it is going to give you the options the moment you start filling density then enter the pin code then are the permanent and uh, present address the same since in my case both are same I'll just say yes if you have different addresses you can code different you can say no and then fill the present address details as well and then fill up these details if you have any alternate mail id you can fill that as well so I'll just fill it then i don't have an alternate number i have this mobile number uh, my mobile number i enter it over here and then just glance it over once it is right everything is right and then i'll say save and continue it is asking to enter a valid alternate mail id so there is something wrong over there so let me check what's wrong so let me write So I'm going to enter a valid alternate mail ID. So let me enter and then say save and continue. Once you click on save and continue, it is going to open up. Next, and you can see here green tick mark for the personal details, which means all your personal details are being filled properly. Now in the academic and work experience details, you have all these information to be filled and then begin with now this is the academic instructions please read it once don't fill this form in hurry bury like i told it's a tedious or lengthy form that one has to fill continue then it comes to highest qualification <clears throat> so already your institute sorry you are already the institute name has it has been taken so it is there over here you already entered bachelor of engineering 2021 it is already there and then move on to graduate there's a bachelor of engineering course duration now this is very important see to that your course duration is slightly more than four years now click on your graduation start date so you can start it on <clears throat> from july 2017 1st of July 2017 and the end date would be first of so we can just mention it as 30th of June sorry 30th of Or maybe we can just click here June 2017 to June 30, 2021. So it is slightly more than one year. So it's a full time. Just remember these name the months June. The names are there. And specialization, you can just click over here. If you are from electronics and communication background, you can just click that. If you are from communication uh, computer science background, you can click that. Depending on your branches, you can click over there. So I can find here electronics and communication and click on that. Yeah, now this is a again an important aspect. Don't try to put your uh, percentages in terms of marks. Try to use CGPA. Now CGPA obtained, like for example, if my CGPA is 7 and if I just uh, uh, 
uh, put 7 over here, it won't throw any error and the total CGP is 10 and equivalent <coughs> See, it won't throw any error over here, but later while hall ticket is being generated, definitely you will face the trouble and your hall ticket will be withheld. So see to that you are entering up to two decimal point. The CGP is 7.00, total CGP is 10.00, and then equivalent will be 70 percentage. So always remember <coughs> the the TCS will consider six CGP as equal to 60 percentage. 7.5 CGP as 75 percentage, 8.5 CGP as 85 percentage is straightforward conversion. Don't uh, do that video kind of conversion over here uh, because uh, uh, your CGP and uh, your equivalent percentage are the key criteria to generate the hall tickets. This is done, then I move on to 12th. So, those who have done the diploma, you can put that, those who have done the 12th, you can put that. So, it will be science or PCMB. Then your school or uh, DPU college name. So I'll just write it here. And then board of education. If it is to be uh, state board, you can mention that. If it is CBSC, you can mention that based on the other thing. <coughs> Sorry. Now course duration. Now again here, uh, just uh, look over here. A note they have mentioned. Please mention only your twelfth duration in your. 12th grade details, please do not add 11th duration, which means PUC second year duration only to be added. And what was your uh, start date of your graduation? It is June 1st, 2017. So, which means your PUC should be completed before June. So, 2017 May should be the end date of your PUC and just one year before that that will be your start date of your PUC so that will be May means you can take it as April 1 2016 will be your <coughs> the start date of your uh, uh, PUC second year so that way or else you can just make it as like I was telling just you have to ensure it is more than just more than 12 months 31st of May because anyhow your engineering is going to start from the 1st of June so we can just try to play with these dates you can just mention 15th of May and then here you can just mention 1st May 2016 so even that makes uh, slightly more than one year and then course type as full time now here in your 12th if you happen to be uh, uh, CBC or ICAC board you can mention in terms of CGP else it will be in terms of marks so it will be the first attempt total marks not the and only PCMB so I'll just say 550 out of 600 and it will automatically show the percentage and then I'll move on to 10th 10th number uh, just see to that you have your 10th uh, marks card uh, details with you that is your registration number you should have and then I, then board of education it will be again state board or cbsc then again uh, course duration should be slightly more than one year now since in the 2016 you started your second year which means uh, 2015 you will be starting your first year which means 2014 you will be starting your SLC so 2014 will be starting your SLC that will be from can consider from May 1 2014 to May 31st So this will be so just uh, if I can just uh, uh, count my education details, it will be from uh, 2014 to 15. It's my SSLC. 15 to 16, it's PUC one. 16 to 17, 
it's my POC uh, 2 and from 17 onwards it is my engineering so everything is uh, matching in line so again it will be marks or CGP and then I will try to enter whatever the marks I obtained so it will be 550 out of 625 if uh, I, I usually had the 625 if you have uh, having for 600 marks so you can enter that whatever the maximum marks you had you can enter that and then other any other qualifications have you done any courses now these are the courses that uh, will have will be uh, not the one which you have done the course are courses so please don't enter over here you can just say no over here work experience details don't men mention anything over here internship is not considered as experience so better say it as no and then finally you go to the declaration so do you have any break in the studies no do you have you done any other courses now here if you have done any, any other courses you can just say yes and then mention what are the courses that you have taken up maybe all the courses that you have taken up uh, through the Coursera will be definitely helping out over here so I'll just write few notable uh, high important courses you can mention machine learning uh, Coursera course Do you have any pending backlog currently? If yes, please do mention it and uh, put what is the number of backlog. So usually if more than one backlog is there, your whole ticket won't be generated. So I insist you can put it as one or if you can say it as no, but during the time of recruitment process or if you are being shortlisted by the company while uh, during the time of joining, you should see that you are clearing all the backlogs. So those who don't have backlogs can just say no. And the declaration form next comes all the declaration form you have taken all the subjects into consideration while calculating so all will be by default yes so try to pull that and then finally come down over here and say I agree and then Say save and continue. Now, once you do that, it will move on to next section. Nationality, you can just say it as you have the India option over here. Then it is going to ask for some languages. Click on add new row, then click on <coughs> see the minimum of two languages you are supposed to enter. If you can enter more than two languages, that's fine, but English should be entered. Uh, in, in all the three categories of read, write, and uh, speak, and then you can enter a language which you can which you use as a mother tongue, and only one language can be used as a mother tongue. So, this is it in your language sections. I have any uh, additional certifications now, these are the certifications uh, that are not the one which usually they expect from the fresher, if, so don't. Uh, do anything over here and then move on to achievements and scholarship now, if you have any achievements with respect to your uh, academics or with respect to any things that you can mention over here uh, uh, so I can just uh, <coughs> can mention any achievements if you have done that and uh, if you have any certification details that you want to add over here you can add over here but then again these are the certifications that are being that have to be selected from these mentioned certification and since for a pressure uh, this won't be uh, useful so don't do anything with respect to certification so achievements whatever the achievements you want to mention over here are valued and the, and the genuine achievements you can mention over here and move on to next upload uh, photo bar a CV and before that it is going to ask you some details fill all those details it is going to ask you a blood group and then you can just mention the photos you want to upload like I was telling you ensure that you have that JPEG photo with you so I have 
so i'll upload that and then the, the cv of that is the resume you need to be uploading so i have my resume over here so i have my resume in the word format it could be in the word format or it could be in the pdf format anything is fine so once it is that and then say save and continue so after that you can again see over here this is being checked now as you can see over here academic and work experience details are not marked properly so which means something you have missed over here now go back over here check from the beginning what you have missed so it is asking you to save and continue for every step for every step you have to save and continue please enter a percentage with uh, a value with two digit after the decimal point for graduate so CGP obtained see here also I was I was missing over here I just wrote it as 70 so it was not uh, giving me the proper uh, value so uh, it has to be entered as 70.00 so for everything you just say it as say yes now I can see over here this is being checked save and continue we'll move on to the next Save and continue, save and continue. Now all these steps have been done. Then finally come down to application form and uh, declaration. So all my previous steps are being checked. And now uh, it is asking some security questions. Are you involved in any criminal cases? No. Are you involved in any malpractices? No. And then after that you are at the end of this application form. Have you appeared for TCS test interview earlier? No. And then if I click on application form preview, it is going to open up my filled in application form. It is going to download wherein I can have all the details, <clears throat> whatever I have mentioned over here, that I can see over here. It's a four page application. Just ensure that you download it for your future reference. So once I come over here, I click on I agree and then I mention the place of my residence in Harvard and then this is the last step submit application so once I submit this application it is going to ask me would you like to apply for TCS recruitment drive your answer should be yes now there comes the point remember the very first uh, process what we did uh, we filled in some NQT that is this particular website we went there and we registered ourselves and then after registration a TCS NQT number was generated remember so this TCS NQT number is supposed to be entered here so that's the reason I told you to save those numbers so this is your TCS NQT number so I just copy it Anyhow, NQT is already mentioned. I need to put the number. I just mentioned it. Now it is asking nearest TCS office. <clears throat> By default, it is uh, taking it as Hubli. Click here to select nearest TCS office. Now this is nothing to do with your examination center. You can just click over here. You can see TCS office is nothing but the head office of the TCSs across India, uh, which is the nearest office that your uh, 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 geographical location will adhere to. That will be definitely Bangalore. It is not with respect to your test location so click on that and then click on apply so once you click on apply it is saying you have applied for recruitment drive so it will show you a successfully submitted the application form now you can just come down to this home option yes so 
you can edit your application form in case if you want to do any changes and anyhow that's not uh, we are going to do it now now i can just say uh, track my application if i click on this track my application you are supposed to get all these details applied for the drive applied for the what is the activity you have done applied for the drive and what is the status applied for the drive when you applied today application received is activity the status is application received and uh, candidate registration the status is registered so this indicates your entire process of recruitment uh, application has been complete, completed and you can keep on editing if you feel that there is some data to be uh, re-entered or if you some, there is some data to be changed that you always, always you can do that. So this is how one can register for DTCS. So I request everyone to kindly go through this video uh, uh, phase by phase and then keep applying and in case of any issues you can contact your training and placement coordinators to clarify all your doubts. Thank you, thank you very much.